All right. Are we back? I think we're back now. Squeaky squeak, squeaker, squeaking. Squeaky chair, squeak. Squeak. Sorry. Abruptly murdering your ears. Any of you that are still sitting in, in chat. Oh, man. Okay, so we're trying out the new camera for the grab for the for the uh, patron grab bags. So if the camera dies in the middle of us doing grab bags, I apologize, but I will sort it out on the fly in real time. Uh, so we're gonna try to like streamline the process. I know I normally shoot the shit a lot, um, so we're gonna try to get right into it and get right going here. Um, cause it does take a while to get these all completed up. Let me turn that the other way so that I can't see the cards that I'm pulling. Alright, so. Dinner's almost done. Sweet. Sounds tasty. Alright, so we've got the Phantom Warrior. Alendra, the Dusk Rose, an Ancient Den, Bone Scythe Sliver, Spelljack, Lotus Petal, uh, five full art lands, one of each type. Uh, Full Art Mountain from Unstable, Illusionist Bracers, Field of Ruin, Path of Discovery, Foil Enigma Sphinx, Lightning Bolt, Creeping Chill, Spider Umbra Foil, sorry, Foil Creeping Chill, Foil Spider Umbra, Paradise Mantle, Pernicious Deed, Psychotic Fury, Richard Garfield, PhD, Figure of Destiny, Street Wraith, uh, GP Land Pack, Lotus Cobra, Chromanticore, Foil Chromatic Lantern, Archmage's Ascension, Nicotyl War Pride, uh, Perilous Fourier's Mystical Tutor, Double Baked Potato and Macaroni Salad. Nice. That sounds tasty. That sounds very tasty. I'm just kind of scroll through some of these here so that you can see sort of like what's going on and what patrons have that they could pick up. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. We added some new stuff as well. This has got um, a few things in it, doesn't it? It has at least two cards. We got uh, Mnemonic Betrayal, which is a mythic with a nice Tezzeret's Gambit. Tezzeret's Gambit being over a dollar, so I figured I'd throw in a, a mythic with it that's under a dollar. Beast in Show is like a four dollar uncom or four dollar foil common, um, but I put in the Dragon Whisperer with it so that you have something playable, um, and it's a mythic as well, but it's under a dollar. So there you go. There's those guys. We got Koth. We got Foil Nickel Bolus. Uh, let's see. We got Artifact Mutation, Foil Stony Silence was just added, Damnation was just added. Uh, okay, so this is this weird Japanese card. It's like $3 or something like that, but I put in the other Japanese card that's also worth a couple bucks, Crypt Rat. Crypt Rat, and I think it's like Flood or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Um... Anyway, from Visions, I know they're foreign and not necessarily all of you like foreign cards, but they're at least worth some money, so, you know, there's that, I guess. So anyway, that's the patron pile of cards, um, and of course, everything is like over a dollar, right? So there is that, and then there's um, the grand prize, which everybody gets entered into, um, so that they get something. Now we have, I believe, if I look in here, we have one new person who is new this month. We have Peter. Peter's our newest patron. Welcome, Peter. Um, you're not going to get one of these extra cards this month because it's your first month as part of the Patreon. Um, so you're just going to get your grab bag like normal, um, and that will be shipped out to you with everything else uh, starting... Probably I'll probably get them mailed out tomorrow or Tuesday at the latest. Um, so hopefully that all works out. Keep your eyes peeled, everybody, for my video on Tuesday. Because normally I do my quickie videos of, like, you know, the new set or whatever it is I'm opening up on Tuesdays. Um, there will be no pack opening video this Tuesday, but there will be a video on Tuesday. And it's a doozy. It's not very long. But it's definitely one you're going to want to go and check out. I'm not going to say why, for reasons, but you're going to want to go and watch it. It's only like three and a half minutes. You probably don't even have to watch the whole thing to get the gist of what's going on. 
but you're going to want to watch it. So keep your eyes peeled for that Tuesday video. Definitely check it out. Tell your friends, tell your family. It's going to be one to see, let me tell you. All right. How's it doing, Paws Brown? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. We're trying a new camera out today, so hopefully we can get through this and get through it pretty quickly. Not much is up for me, man. I'm just trying to get this done and get my patrons their their goodies for the month. So we shuffle up, we shuffled up the patron pile. Now we're shuffling up the patrons, and let's get right to it. First up, Twilight's Eve. Walking away with that foil chromatic lantern. Congratulations, Twilight's Eve. Thank you for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Next up, Chris H. Walking away with that cough. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Oh, Raphael is next. Walking away with that Felwar stone. Nice. It's a nice little artifact. Raphael, thank you so much for your patronage. Carl. Carl's walking away with that illusionist bracers. There you go, Carl. You got to see your extra pull for this month. Logan B. is walking away with that Sanguine Bond. Sanguine Bond is a nice little card. Thank you guys so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Tyler B. Walking away with that Creeping Tar Pit. Tyler, there's a Tar Pit creeping your way. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. I know. I know. Ha! Huh. Oh, snap! Mr. Real Viking MTG is walking away with that Damnation. I hope you enjoy, sir. Congratulations. That's a big hit. That's a big hit right there. Jonathan, walking away with that Richard Garfield. There you go, Jonathan. Enjoy your Richard Garfield. MTG Unpacked, walking away with that Spelljack. Ooh, it's not a goblin, I'm sorry, but it is a Spelljack. Rick C, walking away with that Horn of Greed. Another nice little artifact for uh, his EDH deck. He's Rick has built an EDH deck out of the grab bags he's gotten from me. So uh, whenever any player plays a land, that player draws a card. Cool. You can now have friends with your friends. Or have fun with your friends and let them draw cards. Kairu Kairu is walking away with those lands. You're going to get a land pack, Kairu Kairu. I hope you enjoy. Nice full art lands. Milo, or eBay in this case, walking away with a Shalai. There you go. Very nice. Shall I see some new play, actually, in a bunch of decks? Kyle T. Walking away with that foil price of progress. Noise. Very good stuff. Dustin. Walking away with that path of discovery. Matt and Matt Matthew Waters, who I believe is here. Walking away with that myriad landscape. Boom. There it is. Father Frodo. Walking away with that foil creeping chill. Congratulations, Father Frodo. There you are. Jordan. Jordan's walking away with that Naya Panorama. Oof. There it is. Congratulations, Jordan. Tony. Tony's walking away with that Argothian Enchantress. There you go, Tony. Thank you so much for your patronage. I hope you enjoy. Broke Honky. Walking away with that Jace. It's not the Jace you wanted, but it's the Jace you're getting. It is a Jace. It's still a Jace. Eric. So close. Almost made it. But you are walking away with a Chromanticore, so congratulations there, Eric. And last, but certainly not least, we got Mike Veet again. <laughs> Didn't Mike win last week? Or two weeks ago? Or, I should say, not last week, but last month? Mike, did you win last month or two months ago? I can't remember, but congratulations, you won again. What are the chances of that? Not very high. Well, I mean, like, it's high enough, I guess, because there's, what, 30 of you, approximately. Um, but, like, a 1 in 30 chance to get drawn for the grand prize. Congratulations, Mike. <laughs> All right, so Mike has the opportunity to win some of these right here. So there's a couple options. We're going to roll a D5, a D6, a D5. We're going to roll a D6. And whichever one we get is the one we'll uh we'll give to Mike. So 1 2 3 4 5. 2. This one. So Mike, you didn't get uh What did I make this? I think this is like one of the premium things. I don't remember what I made this. I think this was like a playmat or like a deck box. I think that's what that's supposed to be. No ensnaring bridge for you. No cabal coffers. 
Ooh, no Karn. What are we getting? Ah. Okay, so. Oh, I know what this is. Haha. <laughs> So you get Mr. B in black, which is either a deck box. You can either have Mike. You'll have to give me a uh, give me a. You either get this red deck box, or you can have a playmat, a Nerdvana playmat signed by yours truly. Um, you pick. The silver one is a bundle. That's what I've put it as. Yeah, that's a bundle. Because bundles are like forty bucks. That's why I put that in there. Right, right. Because I have bundles. From sets all the way back to uh, Dominaria, still kicking around. Core 2019, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, uh, Ixalan. I have War of the Spark bundles. And I have Core Set 2020 coming. So, yeah. So, there you go, Mike. You have a chance, uh, your choice of either a playmat or a deck box. You gotta let me know which one you want, and that's what uh, you will walk away with. So, Mike, make sure you. Uh, I'll send you a note, and then you can let me know which one you want. Congratulations to all my patrons! Thank you so much for your support. That was the extra pulls. That was only the extra pulls. Now we move on to the meat and potatoes. Now we move on to the meat and potatoes. You'd love the play map for me. Well, I mean, you can get it by either buying one. Or by signing up on the Patreon and having a chance to win one, I guess. that's Those are your two options. Hey, MTG Impact, how's it going? I was having some issues earlier. I started the stream up and then it like started failing on me. And I don't know why. Look, I have a top 8 box that I don't even know where I got. I don't even know where I got this from. To be completely honest with you guys. Ugh. Got it from somewhere. But, uh, I didn't top eight anybody, let me tell you. All right, Peter. Peter S. is our newest patron. Peter, your, gra your very first grab bag. Let's see what you get. You're getting a Stoneforge Masterwork. And a Dromoka's Command. That's a nice little pairing of cards right there. Nice. You've been stuffing your patron envelopes all afternoon. Nice. Whisper Silk Cloak, which is actually a very good common... Spectral Flight. I think Whisper Seal Cloak's actually worth a couple bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Illusion, uh, no, Give No Ground, Illusionist Stratagem, Crippling Chill, and Containment Membrane. And your foil is a foil Rancor. That's a really nice foil to get, too. Look at it. Peter's just walking away with, uh, with everything here. Bloodbraid Elf. Nice. All right. Well, there you go, Peter. I hope you enjoy your first grab bag. There it is, and thank you so much for your support, and thank you for joining the Patreon. I really appreciate it. There it is. That is Peter. My newest patron, going all the way to Denmark. My first, uh, my first person from Denmark, so that's kind of cool. Thank you so much, Peter. Hey. Hey, Mike. Guess what you won, Mike? <laughs> you won the grand prize again, Mike. So, it's a good thing you just got here, because I'm about to pull your grab bag, but you gotta tell me what you want, because the card that you got out of the pile when I rolled the die was the Mr. B in black, which is either this red deck box right here. You either get this fancy red deck box made by our own patron, Rick Corwin, or you can have a playmat, a Nerdvana playmat, uh, signed by yours truly. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. You, uh, you won the grand prize. Again. I said, like, what, is that two months in a row? Did you win last month, or did you win the month before that? I can't remember if it was last month that you won or the month before. But yeah, I shuffled it all up, man. It's it's all there in the video. You can see it. There was no there was no hanky business. But yeah, so uh, let me know what you want. Playmat, please. All right, sweet. I will get you a playmat added to your grab bag. So let's get your two grab bags filled out. Boom. Flame Rush Rider. A couple months ago. Okay, yeah, okay, that's what I figured. Uh, Azuri's Brigade, your two rares. Aerial Formation, Thermo Alchemist, Alley Strangler, Sabretooth Outrider, Silent Skimmer, and Unified Front. Also, hi, Brokonky, how's it going? Your foil is a Displace, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more 
is Swiftfoot Boots. There you go. That's your first grab bag, Mike. Let's get this done right here. Boom. Just got done working on your deck. Nice. Ooh, Battle Grace Angel. That's a pretty sweet angel, actually. And not not particularly crazy price, but it's a sweet angel. Blood Hall Priest. Lightning Elemental. Elemental Uprising. Teamer Banner. Smelt Ward Gatekeepers. Tidy Conclusion. And Summit Prowler. And your foil is a foil Pima Outrider. And your common or uncommon was a dollar or more? Is a faithless looting. So there you go, Mike. Thank you so much for your patronage. I will make sure that you get a play mat with your two grab bags. Your grab bags will go here like so. Ba -bew. Ba -bew. Ba -bew. There we go. All right. Oh, Paws Brown's gonna run some giveaways. You guys got better go make sure go make sure you check out Paws channel and and get in on that giveaway if you're if you want to win some Gideon spellbook cards. So Eric, Eric is next with that Chrome Manticore. All right, Eric, let's pull your grab bag. Boom, Sram, Senior Edificer, Curse of the Swine. Um, ooh, a booster pack. Okay, Eric's not here. Eric's not in chat, I don't think. Um, and I don't have any booster packs of S War of the Spark right now. I have... Dominaria. Guilds of Ravnica. Do I have Dominaria? Let's make sure I have Dominaria before I offer it, I guess. Yeah, I have Dominaria. I have Guilds of Ravnica. Dominaria, Guilds of Ravnica... You know what? You know what? We're just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Are you guys ready? I'm just gonna do this. See what I have here? I just have one of these. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna give him a pack of the newest set. And yeah, I'm taking it out of a pre-release kit. But so what? So what? There. Core 2020. There. I don't have packs of war, but I got packs of core 2020. All right. What's Eric getting out of his pack? Let's make sure we pull his foil. Let's pull his foil. Boom. Druid of the Cowl. And your common or uncommon with a dollar or more? Ba-boom. Sleight of hand. Very nice. All right. This is the freshest they could be. The set's not even out yet. Officially. You, so you got a Eternal Isolation, Blight Beetle, Woodland Champion, and a Lotus Field. Very nice. Oh, and that's sweet treasure token, too. There you go. Lotus Field, a very nice card. Boom. So there you go, Eric. Congratulations. That is a very nice hit for you. <laughs> Sorting through a 20,000 plus collection while you watch grab bags is good times. Sweet. Did you buy? Did you buy said collection? Let's put Eric's card in there so that we know it's his. <laughs> we gotta put that in the bag. Bro Conky, you're up next, sir. We're kind of blasting through this because the new cameras, the camera that I have now, it doesn't like, um, doesn't last very long, battery wise, and I can't plug it in because if I plug it in, it overheats in like ten minutes, and then it doesn't work at all. So anyway, Animists Awakening, Sarah Avatar, very nice. There you go, Bro Conky, nice little mythic. Shattered Dreams, Stalking Drone, Force Away. Videlkin Blademaster, Orzov Signet, Inventor's Goggles, your foil, a Pallid Mycoderm, very nice, and a Vines of Vastwood. So there you go, Bro Conky, thank you so much. And look, look, you're getting a Jace. It's maybe not the Jace you wanted, but you're getting a Jace. 
And don't worry. Bro Conky, I'm putting your bag to the side here. You can see it. It's right here. See? Boom. Because I need I know I need to put in another card for you. For those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, Bro Conky purchased a copy of Snapcaster made for me, and I need to throw it in with his grab bag to send it along. Tony! Tony's walking away with that Ar Argothian Enchantress and two grab bags. You have every Jace. Well, now you have two of this Jace. Tony, getting a uh, Hinny, Undying Partisan, and a Sage Eye Avengers, along with Living Totem, Sigardian Priest, Duress, Takino Cavalry, Rush of Ice, and Warmonger's Chariot. And your foil is a Vampire Lacerator. And your commoner and commoner dollar more is a skull crack. Who doesn't like a good skull crack once in a while? You know what I'm saying? That's your first grab bag, Tony. Let's pull your second one. Boom! Primeval's Glorious Rebirth and Selfless Spirit. Uh, Primeval's Glorious Rebirth is great. It's awesome with all the new Planeswalkers. Gifts of, Gift of Paradise, Malicious Intent, Impale, Secrets of the Dead, Natural Connection, and Sarkon's Triumph. And your foil is built to last. This foil is built to last. And a counterspell. There you go, Tony, for your commoner. I'm coming with a dollar more. A nice little counterspell. Always good. Always versatile. So there you go, Tony. And don't you worry. <laughs> you're, you're a patron for the discount code. Tony also won these in my Monday series. So he needs to get these sent off to him. And he said he wanted this foil guild gate, so boom, there you go, Tony. Congratulations. We'll put these tokens into a little baggie, like so. And that goes to Tony like that. Boom. There we are. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Jordan, walking away with that Naya panorama. Haha. -ha. Korean Druid, Dryad, I should say, Wasteland Strangler, Falconrath Reaver, Conviction, Biting Rain, Faith's Shield, Rubble Belt Maka, and Gate to the Afterlife. With a foil Dawn Feather Eagle. Nice, nice. And Searing Blaze as your common arm with a dollar or more. I could take out the battery to 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 avoid overheating. Hmm. Bought a collection from an eBay guy, was going to college and needed some money. Lots of time spiral corset. Nice. That sounds sweet. That sounds like it's a possible good find. There you go, Jordan. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Um yeah, I, I guess maybe if you take the battery out, I haven't tried that, Bob. I'll have to try that. Take the battery out entirely plug it into power and turn it on and see what happens. Father Frodo walking away with that foil creeping chill. Dwen Glit Leaf Dayan. Grind to dust. Humbler of Mortals. Horizon Chimera. Right of the Serpent. Boon of Erebos. Nat Miser. And Armadillo Cloak. And your foil is an Elvish Visionary. Elvish Visionary, sweet card, very good. And your Commoner on Commoner with Dollar More, a nice little Street Wraith. There you go, Father Frodo. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. Oh, Rick. <laughs> oh, 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 Rick. All right, we've got Matt. Matt W. with that Myriad Landscape. And two grab bags. Let's pull Matt's grab bags. Boom! Repeating Barrage. And Giant Solifuge. Harbor Serpent. Merfolk Traders. Opulent Palace. Dukhara Scavenger. Betrothed of Fire. A booster pack of Core 2020. A foil rare two-headed giant from Dominaria. They're very nice. And your common or uncommon with dollar more, Distant Melody. Well then, let us crack you a pack. Since, you know, we owe you another grab bag still, but let's crack you a pack first and just see where we get. 
I hope you're okay with Core 2020, Matthew. I think you're here, so we'll make sure you're okay with it, but it's too late. I've already opened it. Ethan, I have not done your grab bag because your payment didn't go through. I sent you a message on Patreon four days ago about it, and it's still sitting in decline status. So your name didn't even get into the entry at this point in time. So go take a look at your Patreon and see what happened with your payment. And then if you get it sorted now, I will get you an additional pull and you'll do your grab bag. Okay? So we've got Sky Knight Vanguard, Flame Sweep, Brineborn Cutthroat, and your rare is a Knight of the Urban Legion. Oh, look at that sweet golem token. Look at that. Man, that is gorgeous. Wow. That is so cool looking. Man, that is phenomenal art. Con good job, Darken. Bruh. Oh no, bruh. Alright, there's your first grab bag for you, Matthew. Boom. Bam. Bam biggity. And Matthew, we owe you another grab bag still, so let's pull that now. Uh, ba boom. A corrupted crossroads. And a mythic Wind Reader Sphinx, which got reprinted as a, as a rare, I think, right? Just a regular rare in Core 2019. Flesh Grafter, Grapple with the Past, Advanced Stitchwing, Gnarled Mass, Angel's Mercy, and Prismatic Lens. Your foil is a Spread the Sickness. Sp spread the Sickness. And a Serum Visions. So there you go, Matthew. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Alright. There you go, Matthew. Get you all sorted out here and into the box. There we are. Who's next? Dustin. Dustin's next. Well, hey, Tony, how's it going? Dustin, uh, okay, you haven't gotten any War of the Spark yet and Modern Horizons and now Core 20 Winter. <laughs> yeah, it's getting hard to keep up. I agree with you, Mike. Dustin C, walking away with that Path of Discovery. All right, Dustin, you get two grab bags. Let's see what happens. Demon of Dark Schemes. That's actually a really nice demon. I like that one. Boom. Oracle of Bones. Stand firm. Laguna Band Trailblazer. Abzan Advantage. Sudden Storm. Unnatural Aggression. And Inventor's Apprentice. With a foil Merc Strider. And your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. A Brainstorm. Enjoy your storming brain, Dustin. Let's pull your second grab bag. Ba boom. Mystic Snake! With a. He is a revolution. And an Unmake the Graves. Rak. 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 Shasha. Rak. Shasa's Disdain. My goodness. Thrash of Raptors. Call of the Conclave. Moonwing Moth. And a Decimator Beetle. With a foil sin collector. Foil sin collector is actually probably pretty sweet in value. Um, I maybe not, but anyway, choking sands as your common or uncommon with a dollar or more. There you go. But um, the sin collector is a sweet card, very playable in pretty much any EDH uh, game. Be right back, putting your son to bed. All right, pause. No worries. We, we we will probably still be here, provided the camera doesn't die on us. Kyle, it's Kyle's turn. Kyle, you got that foil price of progress. That you're walking away with. And you get two grab bags. Stoneforge Masterwork. And a Harmless Offering. Oh, look how, look how cute it is. What's the worst that could happen? Loxodon. An Anchorite. Unsubstantiate. Spectral Searchlight. Psychic Spear. Elvish Vanguard. And Stinging Shot. Hey, Jonathan. How's it going? Foil Angel of Mercy. I hope everyone had fun at the pre-release this weekend, if they went. If you did, let me know. Ooh! Inquisition of Kozilek. Very nice. There you go, Kyle. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy that grab bag. Let's pull your second one. Ba boom! Conflux. There it is. Conflux. With a Eldritch Evolution. Seeing play, seeing quite a bit of play in modern right now. Glowering Ragon. Lone Missionary. Expedition Envoy. 
Fatal Fumes, Dispel, and Lay Bare the Heart. And your foil is a Mind Rot. Good old foil Mind Rot. And your Common Art Common with Dollar More, Street Wraith. You're going to go Street Wraithing. I mean, st Street Racing. Hey, don't make fun of my vo don't make fun of my lisp, okay? Milo, Milo's next. Boom, walking away with that Shalai, Voice of Plenty. There's something for your cube, Milo. I hope you enjoy. But boom, Stitcher's Graft, and Goblin Dark Dwellers. As MTG unpacked would say, Goblin. Flare Drone, Pathbreaker Worm, Unearth, Renegade Tactics, Calisteria Healer, or Calostria Healer, Wasteland Scorpion, and your foil. Ooh, Scatter the Seeds, Mind Rot. Yeah, I mean, like, my mind is totally rotted all the time, MTG Unpacked, you know this. Price of Progress, as your common are coming with a dollar or more. There you go, Milo. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. Thank you so much for your patronage. Milo's a great guy. If you haven't checked out his stuff, you should definitely go do so. Um, he makes content as well on YouTubes. And he also has a couple podcasts and stuff. I should try out that goblin voice mo some more. Probably. I probably need to, like... Uh, I probably need to listen to more of your videos, and, and you know, I'm really bad at mimicking voices, for sure. Kyra Kai was walking away with that those lands. Five lands. Deep Fathom Skulker. And Hannah Weir Battlements. Kam Kami of Empty Graves. Grim Contest. Recover. Waxmane Baku. Fiery Fall. And Praise Vengeance. With a foil... Mausoleum God. Mausoleum God. And a remand. Very nice. There you go, Kairu Kairu. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. Thank you so much for your support. I gotta... I gotta make sure that I do this right. Let's put this in here. Put your own spin on it. Just have some throat lozenges handy. <laughs> fair. That's fair. We gotta take this out of here. Like that. Put that in there. And get the get the thing out of out of here, like this. So this is what Kairu Kairu is walking away with. Look at that. See, plain island swamp mountain forest waste. There it is. And we just kind of slip those in like that. Boom. There it is. Rick, say goodbye to your voice. See, I <coughs> I don't I have the voice that my wife absolutely hates. And it sounds like this. This is the voice that she hates that I do. It is my demon voice. So, and it, it really it gets in there. Ooh, it's rough. Anyway, Rick, go walking away with that horn of greed. Two grab bags for Rick. Seagate Wreckage. Reason to Believe. Sage Eye Harrier. Exclude <laughs> Genju of the Falls Pinon Feast White Mane Lion Electrify And your foil is a vampire lacerator Yeah exactly Mike You got it Ashenod's altar though that's pretty sweet So Rick I was saying when I pulled your extra card you got that horn of greed you can now like have your friends draw cards when you're playing EDH together. Because it's the Horn of Greed is whenever a player plays a land, that player draws a card. You sound like you're choking on something more than a demon. Yeah, probably, Jonathan. Night Vale Spectre. Peace Walker Colossus. Teamer Runemark. Bladed Bracers. Oh, pack! Okay, Rick, you're here, so what kind of pack? You'd make a great black metal singer. Yeah. Um, Taproot Kami, Banalish Knight, and Cinder Hellion. All right, Rick, what kind of pack do you want? Do you care? Do you want Core 2020? Since I have the Core 2020 packs, I can do I can do that. And you get a Lightning Helix. What kind of pack do you want? You got to you got to give me got to give it give it to me quick, Rick. Well, uh, well we're, we're working on that. I will get this all bundled up here. But boom, because I know there is a bit of a delay. Surprise you? Well, I mean, I'm I'm gonna give you 
See, I mean, like, I know that you're making a sweet EDH, so I'm gonna give you a sweet Dominaria pack because it's got some sweet legends and stuff, right? That's my plan. Let's pull you a Dominaria pack and see what we find for you. Okay, so there's your, there's your uncommons. Okay, Cabal Stronghold. Oh, we got a Foil Rescue. Okay. Oh, Slimefoot. There you go. Now you have a sweet legendary creature to put into your EDH deck. So there you go, Rick. So that's your two grab bags and your extra booster pack. Let's make sure we get it all bundled up properly here. But boom Surprise, there you go. Teferi would have been awesome. I was really hoping that he was gonna get something crazy. But not so much, I guess. Didn't didn't happen. Alright, MTG Unpacked, we're gonna do yours now. You got it walking away with that spell jack. Look at this guy. I think that this is gonna fit in great with your goblins, right? Triple blue. It's like it's that they get along like, you know, piss and vinegar, right? Is that that's the saying, right? Harvest season. Merchant's dock hand. Spelljack is a sweet card, though, I have to say. Maybe not great. Oh, look! A goblin turncoat! Ah! Uh, oh, booster pack. What do you want, MTG Unpacked? What kind of booster pack do you want? All right. Haga Sharpshooter. Takaneo's Cavalry. Nausea. Those who serve. Like nails on a chalkboard. Ooh, a foil dismal blackwater. There you go. And your commoner and commoner with all or more? A remand! There it is. Core 2020. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. The tokens look so friggin' awesome in this set. It's ridiculous. Let's see if we can get you one of those sweet... There you go. Goblin Smuggler. This goblin is great for goblin decks, FYI. It's a 2-2 for three with haste that you can tap it and give another creature with power two or less unblockable basically like it's such a good card for a goblin deck it's absolutely insane yeah this is great with um pile driver because you can tap it and give pile driver it can't be blocked and then you can swing with it with all your other goblins and then it gets bigger because it gets bigger as the goblins swing with it but it's already unblockable it can't be blocked because you targeted this one its power was low enough it's primo it's primo rule of law this card's seeing some play as well um in standard Vam vampire of the dire moon empyrean eagle this card's great as well and a dungeon geist this is a very good uh rare in limited this card is great in limited it's a 3-3 flyer uh, that just taps down a creature and keeps it tapped forever. Is Pile Driver in standard? No. Unfortunately not. Oh! Oh, snap! How about a foil shared summons, though? How about a foil rare for you? That seems pretty good. And you get the sweet goblin, or you get the sweet golem token. Wow. Holy moly. But I mean, like, you can give Krenko unblockable the first two turns you swing with him so that he makes tokens, makes a whole bunch of goblin tokens without getting murdered. And then he becomes a 3-4, right? So even this with Krenko is pretty sweet. But I mean, yeah, foil shared summons is pretty sweet. All right. <laughs> All right. There you go, Unpacked. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for your patronage. Now when you open it up over on your channel, you can you can tell everyone that you got some sick pulls. Right? <laughs> Aha! All right, Jonathan. Jonathan's here. Jonathan, you're walking away with that Richard Garfield. Look at that guy. Look at that little man. He was so young and full of hope. Look at him. So young and full of hope. Look what his game's become. <laughs> Nephilia Drownyard. And Master... Master Trinketeer. And... Ooh, a blood a Bloodstoke Howler, Birthing Hulk, Feral Krushok, First Volley, Carrion Feeder. Actually, Carrion Feeder's gone up quite a bit. It's not not quite over a dollar, but it's like eighty cents or something like that right now. It's seeing a lot of resurgence, which is kind of cool. And boom, Foil Prize Fighter Construct, 
and your common or uncommon with a dollar or more is a Delver of Secrets. There you go. So there you go, Jonathan. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your new Richard Garfield. Make sure you hold on to it forever and don't sell it, I, I guess, even though it's not really legal in any format. Um, but, you know. <laughs> All right. Real Viking MTG is not here, I don't think, with us, but he's walking away that damnation, um, which is pretty sweet. So everything in this grab bag is just gravy for him. Uh, Veral's the Scar strip, uh, Stripped, and Wart. Ah, good old Wart. Subjugator Angel. Cunning Strike. Phyrexian Ghoul. Skulking Ghost. Death Denied. And Elegant Edge Crafters. And your foil is a Pilgrim's Eye. And your commoner and commoner with dollar or more, Choking Sands. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Real Viking MTG. Make sure you go check out Real Viking MTG's channel as well. He is actually doing a bunch of voice work for some things, which is kind of cool. Um, and he's also got an MTG channel where he opens up packs and talks about magic. So why not go check him out? Um, all right, Tyler B. Walking away with that creeping tar pit or creeping, creeping away with that tar pit. Walking away with a nice mythic, though. Ulrich of the Kralin Horde. Or Kralin Horde, or whatever you want. And a mana confluence. Woo! Well, how about a mythic and a sweet rare? Skirk Outrider. Nice goblin right there. Thundersong Trumpeter. Reservoir Walker. Faithful Squire. Risen to the Challenge. And Shape the Sands. Hua! A Hero's Bane. Very nice little Hydra there. And your common or uncommon dollar or more? A wall of omens. It's an omen that you are going to be having this creeping tar pit with a whole bunch of other cards that don't relate to blue-black in any way. How about that? <laughs> it's it's an omen. Logan, walking away with that sanguine bond, it's time for you to gain life and make your opponents lose their life. It's going to be great. And you're walking away with an endbringer. And... Paralectric feedback. My goodness. What a what a what a name for a card. Sparring collar. Rot Crown Ghoul. Mighty Leap. Ulric, the werewolf commander we didn't need. <laughs> Oketra's Avenger. Student of Ojitai. And Containment Membrane. Walking away that foil rally the peasants. And haha! Dismember! Oh, man. There you go, Logan. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your grab bag this month. There it is. But boom. Carl! Carl might have walked away for dinner, but Carl was walking away with that illusionist bracers. All right, Carl gets two grab bags. Let's see what he gets. Harness by Force. Mina and Den. Wildborn. Uh, I don't think I did yours yet, Tony. Did I do yours yet? Maybe I did do it. It must have been one of the first ones. It must have been one of the first ones, Tony. So, like, you probably need to go back quite a ways. Ancestral Vengeance. Boon of Emrakul. Vampire Hexmage. That's a really good card, actually. Kami of Tattered Soji. Colostria Nightwatch. Wow, I'm sensing a vampire theme here. Um, Stratus Walk. Foil Starfield Recluse. Or Recluse. And... A Path to Exile. There you go. Nice little, like, uh, black-white uh, core there for you, Carl, for the first pack. Very nice. And second grab bag, Gideon's Avenger. Cool. Cool. Land of War Wastes. Who doesn't like having a land that makes two colors? Crack Clan Ogre. Deny Existence. Alley Strangler. Sign in Blood. Dreamcatcher. And Mog War Marshal. There's your goblin again, see? Oh, Foil Inventor's Fair. Very nice. There you go, Foil Rare for you, Carl. Enjoy, enjoy. Uh, yeah, Corbin, yep. So, Faithless Looting. So, the way that the Patreon works is that when you join, the the, the time, so the way I have it set up is that as soon as you join, you get charged immediately for the, for the level that you pay into. And you get a grab bag that month. So, like, the money that you pay 
immediately, immediately gets you your rewards for that month, right? That's the idea. And the reason I did it that way is because I didn't want people to join it and then, like, have to wait until the beginning of next month to get something. I wanted them to join it and get something immediately. Like, you know, boom, done, got it, got there. Um, Raphael, walking away with that Felwar stone. So the idea is that you get charged immediately. Then if you, like, I don't, you know, I got my grab bag, I don't really want to do another or I can't afford it next month, you can just cancel. Um, you can just cancel it and then it won't even, it won't even process it. So let's see. Boom. Shu Yun, the silent tempest. But boom. And a Pia's revolution. Huddle up. Nirvana nonsense part two. All right, huddle up, reap the Sagraph, Great Horn Kushok, Reliquary Monk, Galvanic Bombardment, and Carrion Screecher. And your foil is a dual shot. Good old dual shot. All right, and a Searing Blaze. A Searing Blaze is a nice little card as well. So there you go, Raphael. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag for this month. Let's get that tucked away in there like so. Boom. Chris. Chris is next. Chris is walking away with that cough. All right, Chris. <laughs> Bedlam Reveler. Huh. Pyrokinesis. All right, double rares. Double red rares. Grip of the Royal. Wailing Ghoul. Urbis Protector. Echoes of the Kin Tree, Mana Chains, and Lamp Lighter of Selhoff. And your foil is an Invigorate. Man. And a Jetaxian Probe. Man, two red rares and then not a single other red card. But you did get Koth. So, I mean, you walked away with three red rares this month. So there, there you go, I guess. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. All right, Twilight's Eve. Last, but certainly not least, walking away with that foil chromatic lantern. We've got a Bad Moon. Good old Bad Moon. Such a good card. Black creatures get plus one, plus one. Lifecrafter's Bestiary is also a sweet card. I really like Beastcaster uh, Magic. Uh, Lifecrafter's Bestiary. Blah, blah, blah. Drana's Emissary. Bonds of Quicksilver. Ancestral Vengeance, Sage of Shalai's Claim, Elite Vanguard, and a Honden of Life's Web. This one. A Foil Thrumming Bird. Who doesn't like poison? Right? Or no, it's not poison, it's Proliferate. Proliferate's great. And a Skull Crack. There it is. You're working on a Captain Sisse EDH deck right now, the new one from Modern Horizons. Nice. That sounds pretty sweet, Jonathan. I have to like get a whole bunch of new lists together and like start putting them together. I'm actually going to start playing some games with Kitchen Table Commander on his channel probably or like at least do some recording with him to like get some games going either on his channel or on my channel or whatever but like he streams on twitch i stream on twitch i figured it was probably not a terrible thing to to get in there and do that so here before we get you know we're done now everything's done but we have a few things to finish up here and that is to do this right here we need to get what was the one that you bought it was the is the Innistrad one, right? Make sure we give you the best mintest copy. So there you go, right there. This is for Bro Conky. Bro Conky paid for this. It goes right into his grab bag bundle, like so. Boom. Bought it from the website. Well, I should say, bought it from me. Saw it on the website, asked me to remove it, and then uh, purchased it through PayPal. Next thing we need to do is close this up and I gotta get one of these bad boys right here let's see now there it is 
Can you see that? You can see that, right? All right, now I need a silver Sharpie. Do I have it at my desk? I have a feeling that I do not. Those are both black. They're not gonna show up on here. Be right back, folks. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm back. I'm here. Quick, everyone, put away your booze and your party hats. Dad's back. All right, let's see here. I gotta see which one looks the best out of these two. I got two silver sharpies here. Oh, that one looks super dry. Okay, that one doesn't look like it's gonna gonna write at all if I use it. So this one. All right. Are you ready? Are we still live? We're still live, right? Why is this giving me this nonsense? Why is it telling me that I'm not live anymore? I don't understand. We're still live, right? You guys can still hear me, right? And still see me? I hope so. All right. All right. I don't know, should I write you a note or just sign it? I feel like I should just sign it. And you know what? I'm going to sign it like this. There it is. That's my signature. As beautiful as it is. There you go, Mike. A nice plain black play mat for showcasing cards when you're taking photos. And all it has in the bottom corner is this, so you can always just flip it over if you, if you want to take photos of things without showing the other logo, right? It's a nice plain black mat. That's why I did it this way. But are you alive? Right, I love you. <laughs> I love you, man. All right, so now I'm just going to roll it up like so. And this will come to you, Mike, with your grab bags. I won't ship it like this, probably. I'll probably end up folding it up, but for now, we'll just roll it up and put it here to the side. There we go. All right, next up, let's talk. We've got a public service announcement. We've got a few minutes left on our camera, probably, before it like completely dies on us. Um, so, public service announcement. Um... These are the promo packs that you get for competing now in Friday Night Magic, in uh, uh, your standard events, your sealed leagues, whatever. Whatever your LGS may be running, this is now the new Wizards thing that they're giving out. Uh, let me just see. I think I have the information here. I believe it's been publicized, so I believe I can talk about it without getting in too much trouble. And if I'm getting in trouble... Well, then, I'm sorry, I guess. So, these are the Core Set... Oh, oh, oh. Why you gotta be like this? These are the Core Set 2020 promo packs. The suggested distribution by Wizards is 15% of the packs go to Draft Weekends. 30% of them go to 30 to... 35%? Somewhere? What is... Yeah. Sorry, 30% go to Friday Night Magic. 
20% go to Magic Weekend, and then 10% go to new player events and prizes, you know, bring a friend reward, other than other things like that. And then the last 25% go to other events, whatever the store wants them for. So people are selling them for ridiculous prices. So, yes, exactly. So, so the other thing to note is that these are the regular ones. There are red packs as well, which are the premium packs. Your store only got... A small number of premium packs compared to how many of these packs they got. I think my store, when they showed it to me, they got like, I think it was like about 10 of the red packs for every five of these. Something along those lines. Uh, sorry, I should say, one one red pack for every like five to 10 of these packs, I should say, in total. So they had like about 50 of these and about five to 10 of the others, right? So, um... The interesting thing is that the red packs are all foil. Like I'm a broke honky said in chat. The um, the red packs are all foil. So every card in them is foil. As opposed to these which has only one foil in it guaranteed. And then like possibly you might have another. It depends. Um, the thing that's interesting about it is that you in the pack you can get the alt art planeswalkers from the Japan uh, set. Um, which is interesting. Um, but your store is going to figure out how to distribute these as they want, which is really weird. It's a really strange thing because now the store has to try and figure out, well, how do I distribute these across the next three months? Um, whereas Wizards wasn't doing that before. They were just giving them promos each month or whatever for this, for the events that are going on. Um, you got a foil pack. Nice. Yeah, well, and this is the thing, Bro Conky, is that like, and so like Rick said too, people on eBay are selling these for ridiculous prices, which is absolutely insane, right? Um, the my LGS said, you know, like, you know, we're doing stuff for some of the like game day event and like the open house, so he was like, you know, show up on the open house, um, and uh, just show up to the open house and say hi and like, you know, maybe have a game with a kid or something who's learning how to play. Um, and just get your name on the list because what they were doing is like taking a list of people to like t to figure out who was here on open house and then from that list they were going to randomly select some people to get packs well i went to get i went to open house and there was like maybe six people there so he was like just here just take just take take some and i was like okay so he gave me some um for showing up um and willing to help out kind of thing so it's interesting you're waiting for the Commander 2019 pre-cons? They look sweet as well. Another thing, right? Like, I mean, so I have a box of... I have a box of the pre-cons from 20, uh, 2018, and I have a box of the ones from 2017 that are both just sealed sitting on my shelf. And I bought them because I was like, I want to get start getting into Commander, and I haven't, I haven't bothered yet. Oh, is Ethan still here too? Did Ethan sort his thing out? Do I need to go and figure out whether Ethan got his payment sorted? Let me go check this before we... Say we're completely done. So Ethan's payment still says it was declined. User payment info has been rejected. And Corbin just signed up. Whoa, Corbin! What are you? What are you doing, you crazy man? What are you doing, Corbin? My goodness, Corbin. Why? Wait, is there not any spots left in that one? Is that why? I gotta, I gotta sort this out. I gotta sort this out for a moment here. Okay, Corbin just signed up. Got his... He signed up. Uh, let me just check. Let me check my thing here and just see what the dealio is. Uh, this. How many do we have open? How many slots do we have open? This was, yeah, Corbin. What are you doing, man? You 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 signed up for the twenty dollar tier. But that only gets you one grab bag, but you can sign up for the sixteen dollar tier and get two grab bags. So I'm gonna give you two grab bags. Take that. How do you how do you like me now? How do I wait for a winner to respond? So um, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I have some stuff, pause, that I still have. That I'm literally sitting on, waiting for someone to reply 
to having one a thing. Um, in fact, I don't know where I have where I put that guy's name, but like, uh, uh, is it this one? No. Oh wait, yeah, that's 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 the new guy. Okay, so this guy won my giveaway from the first giveaway of the uh, moder or the uh, Masterful Monday series, and never he never contacted me. Never, not even another comment on any of the other videos. Like he won in the first week and then just never contacted me. So I still have like his tokens just sitting here waiting, and. Like, I mean, I haven't opened them for him or anything because he never contacted me. So, you know, interesting. Uh, just kind of a random thing. But uh, I do have some stuff from, like, previous giveaways that I've done that have, like, you know, I shipped it out and then it came back to me and it was undeliverable. And then I messaged the person and I was like, hey, I shipped it and it never got to you. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? And then they just didn't reply to me. And I'm like, okay, I don't know how to ha <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Um... I have one thing that shipped out to me, and I shipped it out to the guy, and it came back to me, and I messaged him, and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, um, I moved, so my address is kind of up in the air at the moment, uh, like, he's in the middle of moving, so he's like, you know, just hold on to it for me for now, and then I'll let you know when you can ship it to me, and so then, okay, so I waited, like, six months, and then I messaged him again, and I was like, hey, I still have this thing, do you want me to ship it to you, and he's like, oh, no, I'm still all up in the air, and I was like, <laughs> what? I'm like, my goodness, okay, so, I mean, like, I don't, it's really up to you, pause, like, how long you wait, right? I mean, at this point, I'm not. I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm not gonna like re give away. I'm not gonna do a re giveaway. If they don't collect it after like a year or something like that, I'd probably just like maybe put it up again as another giveaway. As like someone never collected this. Like I might do a thing at the end of the year where it's like, here are all the things I have that were never collected by people, and I'm giving them away to anyone who wants them. Kind of thing. Like we're gonna do another giveaway. Like leave a comment on a video, and then we'll pick someone, and someone will get everything that's in this pile of stuff. That's like stuff that people didn't want <laughs> or didn't get. So. <laughs> All right, Corbin. All right, Corbin. Let's pull your grab bags since you're here. Well, first things first. Oh, I should leave this on. Let's leave this on for a moment and let's do this first. First things first. The inaugural Corbin gets a card. Corbin. Uh, and then you're what? Card Games Corner. I'm just going to say C, C, G. Except that that's wrong. It should be C, G, C. But whatever. It's close enough. I'll know what I'm talking about. And none of you will know what I'm talking about. But I'll know what I'm talking about. And it's that I have dyslexia, okay? Get off my back. <laughs> you just became... Wait, you just became a patron. Oh, God. Pause. Pause. I owe you a grab bag now, too. All right, all right. Pause. Okay. So, pause. I offer you the same thing that I offer to Unpacked, then. And I offered this to Salmon and all those guys as well. Um, do you want me to pull your grab bag live, or do you want me to ship it to you with you not knowing what's in it so that you can open it on your channel? So you tell me what you want. In the meantime, let's pull Corbin's grab bags. Corbin gets two. So Corbin, what I would suggest is go in and, um, go in and, uh, <laughs> go in and change your pledge to the $16 amount. Because you'll save $4 a month and you'll still get two grab bags. Just, just, you know, just, just what I'm saying. Just, just, it's a thing. It'll save you four bucks every month. And you get two grab bags. So, I mean, like, I'm going to put you at two grab bags because really, how is it fair for me to offer a $16, a six, a $16 tier with two grab bags and a $20 tier with only one? It doesn't seem to make sense. Unless the $20 tier has a different discount rate at the store. I think that's what it was originally supposed to be. But anyway, Jared, a nice mythic. And a master trinketeer. You're walking away with a Walker of the Waste, but we won't give you both of those cards because they were stuck together. And a Compulsive Researcher, and a Consulate Turret, and a Sylvan Ranger, Golden Demise, and Thraben Foulbloods. And your foil is a Compulsory Rest, and your common or uncommon is a Relic of Progenitus. There you go. 
Okay, sure, absolutely pause. I can do it off video, not a problem by any means. Um, what I'll do is, you know what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll switch the video off, but I'll stay live and I'll pull it. And that way, if you get like a booster pack, well, here, just tell me now. If you get a booster pack pulled, what set do you want? I have Dominaria, I have Guilds of Ravnica, I have Ravnica Allegiances, uh, I have Core 2020, and I think that's all I have available at the moment. Anyway, captured by the consulate. Midnight, Entourage, Divination, Warflare, Commune with Dinosaurs, Scent of Cinder. 2020, you mean, right? Just so that I'm clear on which core set you're talking about. Foil, Keldon, Marauders, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more is a knot of this world. Very nice. Really cool old card. Well, not really old, but like from, from Rise of the Eldrazi. Very cool. There you go. Corbin, thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Fallen Empires. Listen, Rick, we're working on it. We're working on it. Working on it. Okay, pause. Uh, pause for just a second, everybody. What can we do? What can I do? I can just do this. Uh, I can just do this. There. Now it's just a black screen. Isn't that great? I can turn on like this and turn on like, I don't even know, is it, I don't even, I don't think I have like another, no, I don't have a thing. I don't have a thing. I don't have a splash screen apparently. It's fine. All right, pause. I'm just going to pull your grab bag right now. Ooh, spicy. Okay. All right. Neat. Okay. This one. Oh. Okay, and that. Ah, oh, that's a nice one. That's a pretty nice uncommon. Sweet. Sweet. There you go. And that way I'm done. And that way you guys don't have to see it. And there we go. And then I can just go like this and just turn this back on and boom, we're back. See? And look, here's your grab bag. All filled out, see? Look at that. How how hard was that? Not hard at all. It wasn't a pack. You didn't get a pack, unfortunately. Sorry. I guess I ruined that suspense for you. Uh-oh, Jonathan. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> you guys. $45? Oh, no. Jonathan. Okay, so I owe you a bundle, Jonathan. I think that's what it is, right? Is that the bundle tier? That's the bundle tier, right? Okay, Jonathan. Um, do you want me to open the bundle right now? Or do you want me to do a separate video for your bundle? Because normally what I used to do for my patrons at bundle and box level is I would do a separate video for them. Like live. I would do a separate live video for them for their bundle. Um, to make sure that they're around. Um, so then... Uh, if you want me to do it now, that's fine. If you want me to do it later, that's also fine. But I need to know what what bundle you want. So, I have... I don't have Core 2020 bundles right now. But if you wait a week, I will. So that's your choice. If you want a Core 2020 bundle... If you wait a week, I'll have them. I get them this this coming week because they're not, technically not released yet, so my LGS didn't have the bundles yet. I got my boxes, but not my bundles. Um, but I have bundles of all of the other previous sets. So, like, I have War of the Spark. I have Dominaria. I have Rivals of Ixalan. I have Ixalan. I have Core 2019. Um, what else am I missing? Those are the main bundles that I have kicking around. Yeah. Unless you want to go back farther, because I also have a bundle of Amonkhet and a bundle of Aether Revolt. That's what I have right now. But I only have one bundle of each of those. So, like, that, this is it. Like, if you pick it this week, this month, that's all. That's it. There is no more. I'm hoping that my camera doesn't die on me. Because we've been live for, what, almost just over an hour? Right? An hour and ten minutes? 
And the battery's probably close to dead, I would imagine. Somewhere in there. Anyway, let's open up this while you make your decision. Because I want to open this up and show what people are... What, see, see what's in this. Because I don't even... Like, I mean, I know, but I don't really know. You want to wait for Core 2020? Okay, that's fine with me. Interesting. So... You get a promo land, but the land's not foil. Okay. But it has a stamp on it. Like, it has a little foil stamp of the Planeswalker logo. That's super weird, but also neat. He wants Aether Revolt. Oh, Eric. I didn't know if you were here or not, but I was, I was waiting. I was waiting. So we got a Sorcerer's Spyglass as our rare. We got a full art or like weird like, like it's not like full art, but it's like the weird frame, the alternate frame negate. And then what do we, what is the last slot? The last slot is like, oh, a Temple of Triumph. Oh, one of the, uh, I don't know what it's about. Oh, it's stamped. Oh, interesting. It's got the Planeswalker stamp on it, too. These... Oh, wait. Weird. So the Sorcerer's Spyglass also has the stamp on it. But the Negate doesn't. I wonder why they stamped three of the four cards. Anybody know? Anybody care to wager a guess as to why? Alright, Jonathan wants to wait. It's fine. Like, Jonathan, I'll send you a message on Patreon... And, uh, you can, we can talk about what it is you want, and, and then, uh, figure it out. War! You want a War of the Spark bundle? Is that what you're saying? Or is it, you're just saying war, because, because war. So, I also have these. So, see, like, I have a couple more kicking around. Um, so, there will be a giveaway at some point for one of these, probably. Um, yeah, I'll just send you a message on Patreon, and then we can set up... Uh, which bundle you want and when you're around that you want me to do it do the filming, okay? Two rares and land Yeah, and then an alternate like a an alternate frame card is what you get right so you get two rares a land and an alternate frame card But the but none of them are foil. Did you notice this so like the foil pack like or if you remember like the Like the other standard showdown packs and things like that you got like a guaranteed foil land in each pack right and then you might get another foil or like a foil rare or like a foil uncommon or something right like you got a you got a foil card a foil land and then two other cards and the two other cards could be are generally were generally rares and they were from any of the standard sets this is like two rares uh and then like an alternate art or an alternate border card and then a land but the land is just like a stamped land like, it's not even, like, like, this art I don't think is new, either. Like, this art for this mountain is not new, I don't think. Um, or maybe it is, and it just looks so familiar to the other lands. I don't know. But, um, it's got, like, the promo symbol, but then it's got, like, the stamp on it. Hmm. Um... Wait, the $20 tier says that it's for two grab bags? Does it? Hold on, let me check. You will still get the $8 tier store discount, blah, blah, blah. Oh, as well as two. Oh, okay, you're getting two grab bags. Well, good. Good. But, like, I mean, put it this way. You could get you could get this one, right? You could get you could get two grab bags for $4 cheaper, is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's like, because, like, so... The $16 is the early bird one, right? Which means that I have only 10 slots open, right? So the first 10 people can sign up for the $16 one, which is cheaper because you're like an early adopter, right? And the $20 one is for people who show up after the fact and they're like, oh, I want the grab bags. And it's like, well, you have to go at the higher rate now because you didn't get, you weren't an earlier adopter, right? This is just, it's like, you know, when you do like the early bird things on Kickstarter and things like that, where it's like, you know, the people who are early, early to the party get a discount, Right. That's what I figured. Maybe that doesn't work. Maybe it's not great. I don't know. But that's how I was figuring it when I set it all up originally. 
anyway, my goodness, people, thank you so much for your patronage and for upping your pledges and changing stuff. And holy moly, thank you so much. Why is it that the only one that hit the like on your stream? Come on, everyone, hit that like. Hit that like button. I mean, it's fine. Um, if you don't like the video, you don't like the video. I'm not going to be upset about it. Look at this box. Look at this gap. I'm going to have to go and, like, raid my commons and uncommon binder and, like, refill this. Like, remember when this box, when we first started out, this box was full all the way, end to end, of sleeves. And now look at it. It's because I've been, I've been raiding my commons and uncommon binders, and I'm, like, running thin. I'm running thin, so I'm going to have to, like, buy some and put them in. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, you see five likes. See? There you go. There's five likes. The foil one is really awesome? I bet it is. I mean, so congratulations to those of you who get them. I think Bro Conky said he got one, which is great. Awesome for you. Yes, I will definitely tell her hi, Rick. She she actually was asking me the other day about how your uh, your deck boxes are going and stuff, and how your uh, your Etsy store was going. And I told her I told her about how you had it like you know you shut it down because you got uh, an offer to do some stuff. So you know I gave her the full rundown. I gave her the rundown. <laughs> That's what she said. Look at that game. I mean, I guess, I guess. Pause. I guess. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you all had a great night. I hope you all enjoyed your uh, your weekend of pre-release and all that. Um, now's the time. Now's the chance to put in some Uncommon Force of Wills. You know what? If I can fill this box with Uncommons worth a dollar or more, I will put... If I can fill it all the way with what I have in my collection, I will put one Force of Will in here. I'll do it. I will do it because there will be like at least a hundred or more cards in here with sleeves and only one of them will be a horse. Of I'll do it. I will do it just for you, MTG Hermit, and then you won't pull it. It won't be for you. It'll be someone else that gets it, but I'll do it. Sounds good, Rick. Sounds good. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers, and as always, as Tony says, may your pulls ever be better. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see y'all later.